I spent a couple hours scrolling through Instagram the other day, came away with two really important things. One, I can save a ton of money on a knife sharpening set, which is pretty cool. And two, my photography is terrible. Seriously though, after a good Instagram session or hopping around other portfolios on the web, I'm left kind of questioning myself, like what am I doing with my life? It'll take me forever to build a portfolio as good as theirs. If that's even possible, if I even have the talent, I start out looking for inspiration and in the end, I just feel like a failure, which is not very inspirational. Do you guys feel this way? I, I think it's pretty common with most photographers and creative people. Sometimes. I instantly just wanna look away. It's so good that I have to click off or close the app for you know fear that I'll lose any kind of confidence I might've had. My fight or flight kicks in and I fly, I turn it off. That's my natural reflex. But you know, then I have to build up the courage a tad, spend just a few minutes more looking at those images that are impressing me and demoralizing me at the same time and realize that I most likely don't wanna create those images in the first place. It's inspiring work, but it's not me. That's them. That's their portfolio. They're going after their clients. I have my portfolio and I'm going after my clients. Rarely are we gonna intersect. We might work for the same clients, but on completely different projects. I remember looking at Carl Warner. He creates these amazing landscapes out of food, like the rolling hills of Italy using pasta, cheese, and broccoli. They're actually pretty insane. And when I first saw his work, I was like, what am I doing? I have to do this stuff now? You know, he's working for these clients and somehow I have to top that. That's, that's impossible. Maybe Carl Warner is working for Kraft and if I wanna work for Kraft too, does that mean I, I have to do this stuff now? I have to make food landscapes? The answer is a big fat no. Kraft needs other images. That's just one advertisement they're creating that needs his style. The next one might need what I do. Those are completely different niches in the same genre. There's no competition there. Sometimes though, it, it can feel really daunting if you see a ton of great photographers in your niche. It's something that I feel all the time. That's when I tell myself, if I want a portfolio like that, I have to put in the hours. I have to make it my own. It has to be unique to me. There are a million photographers who use geometry in their compositions, who create a scene and tell a story. What do I do that's different? And how can I do more of it? It has to have my spice, my flavor to it. If we're talking about professional photography, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. For most photo shoots, every photographer has to create a proposal, an estimate plus a portfolio. New photographers, old photographers, we're all in the same boat and that proposal has really nothing to do with experience. Yes, some photographers have repeat clients, but usually only a few and it's actually pretty rare. Good photographers are truly just good marketers or they have agents who market for them. And the number of good photographers who are also good marketers is pretty small, like a seriously small number. What I'm saying is your portfolio doesn't have to be better. It has to be good, but it doesn't have to be better. It has to be unique to you. And the rest is hard work and marketing. Pick 10 companies, 10 agents, 10 art directors that might wanna hire you and then send them an email or a DM once a month. Do this every month until someone responds. In my experience, it takes about six months to a year to get a positive response. And to be brutally honest, most likely the response is gonna be nothing. Just the lovely sound of crickets. And if you're lucky, the response is gonna be a negative one. Somewhere along the lines of, we don't have a job right now that needs that type of work, but I'll file your portfolio for when something comes up. However, that's better than nothing because it actually means they looked at your work and your work was strong enough to warrant a email back. And you might think it's nothing, but I've actually had art directors come back from a response like that a few months or a year later. The same goes for agents. Just keep pushing the needle, keep putting in the hours at the studio, keep marketing most of all, because if you do that, you're probably ahead of 99.5% of all the photographers in your genre. So this is what I was working on today. It's the third in this series of stop motions that center around this kaleidoscope geometry vibe that play with the various colors that the product comes in. It took a lot to line up the bottle somewhat perfectly. Again, as you saw, it's three photos, one for each color. Then I made the movement using masks inside of Photoshop. After looking at all three together, I I'm not sure this one fits. I might wanna change this one with a product that's more of a sweet or a candy so it matches the other two. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Overall, it's pretty cool. All right, just to let you know, a lot of my video ideas 
come from the comment sections. I see your frustrations and your questions and I think, man, I gotta make a video about that. So if you have an idea or you need some advice or have a question, drop it in the comments below. I'll try to get a response out to you and if I think it's important for everyone to know, I'll make a video about it. But anyways, give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I see a lot of comments from my subscribers saying, I didn't know you put out new videos, so ring that notification bell. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. Man, I need some more coffee.